Hey, everyone. We are live at the Pace Studios in New York right now. William Duvall. William, thanks for coming back, man. It's good to see you. Right on. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, dude, of course. Last time you were out with uh, with Draft Tongue Orchestra with Brent mm-hmm. from Mastodon and uh, and Ben from Dillinger Escape Plan, right. and now we are celebrating the imminent release of your uh, your debut solo record, One Alone, comes out on Friday. That's right. Congratulations, man. Uh, right. Thank you for sharing music with us from that record. Can you tell us what's coming up first? Uh, this is a thing called Till the Light Guides Me Home. It's the first single off it, off the record. Yeah. Give it a shot here. <laughs> uh. Dark days tearing me down Nights are soaked with tears Never die, but neither will I fear. So we go on after goodbye, like the seasons changing under the all seeing sky. Someday this pain may be gone. But for now, I chase the dawn And I can feel you buried in my bones And I'm afraid and all alone Till the light guides me home I tried to build upon a dream Born in our family tree But all I did was break you down With my demons and insecurity It's a wicked sorrow That makes a man do the things I've done And I can't blame you For calling up the strength it took to run Someday I may feel your smile again When I atone for all my sins But I belong in this hell I made my own Still afraid, not alone Till the light guides me home tune guitar here dude that sounds great man thank you very much for bringing this music here today oh thanks man um and i've watched the video a couple of times till the light guides me home which is outstanding well done on that as well it's sick it's a pretty sparse video production that matches the sparse audio production of the album itself um can we talk a little bit about why you chose with the the solo debut to do it really stripped down just your voice and a guitar as opposed to more like a full band approach oh it just felt like it was time uh to do something completely different make a pretty complete break with everything that i've done before there's been a lot of years now of uh these um, full band, really dynamic, but mostly very aggressive rock records that sort of come at you in a certain way. And um, it was time for sort of like a, a cleansing fire, if you will, to maybe help the soil renew itself, you know? And so I felt like, why not get it, you know, as reductive as possible and just one voice, one guitar for an entire album and see if that works. And if that works, then maybe it bodes well for other things in the future. <laughs> Hopefully. Nice. Uh, well, be... one alone. There it is. I think it works yeah. really well. I'm enjoying the album a lot. And hopefully oh, everyone thanks. who's watching this live stream right now is also able to check it out. It comes out again. Congratulations to you. It's out on Friday. Yes, it is. Out on Friday. Yeah, Please uh, feel free to get out there and 
buy, download, stream, whatever yeah. you Or like stay in and purchase it regardless. Yeah, exactly. It's you available can, everywhere you don't you have to get out to. anywhere. You can stay in and download and stream. Yeah. And all Preferably, though, please do. Leave your house and buy it, <laughs> buy it at a store. It would be better. Leave your house to come see the show. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, the uh, tour starts uh, October 21st at City Winery in Atlanta. And there's a ton of City Winery shows. Those will be those yeah. will be a lot of fun. Those are nice rooms. Your yeah. New York show is, because uh, the City Winery is down for right now, but I think yeah. it's associated, right? Because the uh, you've got to show at the Cutting Room, which is just down 34th <laughs> yep. Street from here yep. uh, on, on October 23rd. Um, all the dates, of course, they're up at williamdevall.com and everywhere that you would expect tour dates to be. And there's 2020 shows as well. And there's there's lots of stuff happening. So Yeah, um, th- there's this fall run, and that runs from October 21st to November 3rd. And then I um, go back out again. And then if, uh, well, I guess, yeah, end of February. I'll go, go out again in like mid-February, starting on Valentine's Day, actually. St. Louis, Valentine's Day, you know, get your, <laughs> bring your loved ones and, <laughs> yeah, come, out. Yeah, dude, come Devo- out to the duck room and have a nice, have a date night. And all that, you know? Way cooler date night than a boring restaurant, man. Right. right. Um, well, so we've got, there's more music happening. You're going to play two more off of the record. Can you tell us what's coming up next? Yeah, I'm going to try to get this guitar together and then I'm going to do a thing called No Need to Wonder. It's the last tune on, mm-hmm. on most of the versions of the album. So. <laughs> close enough for rock and roll. i 
You sound oh great, God. man. Thank you. Ah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. I'm still trying to figure out how to play these songs. I have, I have uh, still trying to find my way inside of them. You would think, uh, oh, they're on a record, of course. But no, I've, you know, you got to get used to, I don't know. It's like you got to, it's a whole other thing, you know, like when you got to play them in front of people. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're chipping away. Thanks for helping me chip away. Thanks for helping me chip away, <laughs> intro net. So uh, yeah, can we? So can we talk about the production process of yeah. the record? Were you turning all the knobs and hitting all the faders? Did you bring in uh, f- past collaborators? Who who all worked on this? What did the process well, look I, like? I produced the record. Like I've, I've pretty much produced every record I've done outside of Alice um, since about 1995 or so. But I, I had uh, an engineer uh, Jeff Bagos in Atlanta who did most of this One Alone album, and we've done a few records together and. It's always great working to him. And then, um, uh, so after I did the initial eight songs that formed the nucleus of the album, I figured, I think this might be an album. So I want to go back in and do a few more and get a proper long player. So I went to um, another friend of mine, uh, another place of another friend of mine named Jeff, Jeff Blunt, who is um, a bass player, very fine musician, and uh, went to his house and Knocked out a few more songs in an evening, so basically the song was the the album was recorded in uh, a couple of one day one evening type sessions. That's great, man. It's yeah. a nice when it works out that way. Yeah. I don't know. I have not recorded any albums of my own, but I would imagine it's much nicer when the universe gifts you these songs and they're just recorded quickly as opposed to, yeah. to laboring over them for months and months before it gets out there. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I've 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 always had to work learn how to work really quickly out of necessity with the records I have done for the most part. And um, I think it does lend an immediacy to it. And I think it shows through. And I think it um, ages well over time that you can you can hear the immediacy of the records, you know. So hopefully that'll be the case with this one too, you know. Well, I'm enjoying it very much. Thank, Thank you, you again for coming here and playing. <laughs> We're going to hear a third song off of One Alone yeah. right now. Can you tell us what's coming up next? Yeah. Well, once again, a little bit of tuning here as I get back into standard. And, uh, yeah, so this is a thing called White Hot. It, uh, it's the second single off of One Alone, and it just came out this morning, the single. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, man. So see if we can get through this one here. <laughs> <laughs>
This has been great. William oh, Duvall, thanks, thank you for coming back. Uh, come thanks. back anytime. We'll be here doing this, and uh, we'd love to see you whenever. Cool. Um, enjoy all the City Winery shows. Uh, it starts out October 21st, City Winery Atlanta. Um, those go through, I think, uh, Chicago on November 3rd is the is the last one of those. Yep. And then uh, February of 2020, there are Midwest and Western States shows all uh, there everywhere across this country. And yeah, so man. the dates are all up at williamdevall.com. Yep. And, dude, thanks again. And best of luck on One Alone. It comes out on Friday. On and, Friday. Uh, yeah, dude, thanks for sharing music with us today. Thanks. Thanks for having me.